Okay, please don't do that because I think we might be recording and we might not be. I'm not sure. And we're live. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Fletcher Media and join up at FletcherMedia.tech. Welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. Tonight we're reading from Romans chapter 13. Welcome to a moment of joy. As always, we encourage you to read along with us. Romans is towards the end of the Bible. It is it is halfway through the New Testament. It's the sixth book of the New Testament. It comes after Acts and before 1 Corinthians. So yeah, um, let's read along. Beginning in verse uh, 1 of chapter 13. Let everyone be subject to governing authorities, for there is no authority except which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those who, for those who do right, but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free from fear of the one in authority? Then do what is right and you will be commended. For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid. For rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath to bring punishment on wrongdoers. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to authorities, not only because it is possible for punishment, but also as a matter of conscience. This is also why we pay taxes. For the authorities are God's servants who give the, their full time to governing. Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. Any questions? No. Really? A rebellious young teen like you, and you have questions about obeying authority. Yup. I don't believe you for one second. Fine. Any questions? <laughs> At the start, yes. It's him. You know, like, gotta listen to, like, the law, and then you're, like, listening to God, but... Yeah. Then, the law tried killing God, and it actually succeeded in killing God. Right. And, and, and... Uh, so, Jesus, not I, I, God. I, I hear this all the time from people. Well, what if, what if the authorities are evil? Right? I hear this all the time. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just What if the authorities why? are saying, like, you can't go to church and stuff? Do we still obey them? Well, let's look at what was going on. Who's this letter wrote to? Israelite? What's the name of it? Oh! What's the name of this book? Romans. So it was written to the church in Rome at a time when Rome was outlawing Christianity and like basically killing Christians for entertainment. And, and, and still, what? yes, and even in that, we're called to pay our taxes and, and obey authorities. Oh, so there was taxes back then? Yes, there's been taxes for as long as there's been government. As long as one person has been trying to be in charge of another person, there's been taxes. Oh. So, yeah. Anyways, um, it's hard. It's very hard. And and you know I I I can honestly admit I've been to I, well I've done a lot of protesting in my life and and I've done a lot of rebellious things and you I, I probably should protest. Yes, I know it's hard to believe that you, that the, this nice calm old man used to be have what attitude. You, well, you you still have attitude outside of camera, but what what did you protest? Protest. Oh, all kinds of things. Can you give some examples? I, I used to write protest songs against the war in Afghanistan. What? Yeah. I, I no, I repeat it again. I didn't hear it. I used to write protest music, uh, 
singing against the war in Afghanistan. Why? Because I don't like war. Oh, I thought you were just saying like, you didn't. You just wanted the country to like die. No, no, I, I didn't. I didn't think that there should be. I didn't think we should be wasting money or lives or, or blood or treasure in 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 a foreign country. So, yeah. yeah. Anyways, that's just one. Uh, WTO, I, I, I was against. I, you name it. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Were you against? The fact of them thinking of removing ice cream from the food. No. But <laughs> <laughs> that's just something random. Like, but I did pr produce to try a to few, stump you. But I did produce two or three protest videos against mask mandates early on that your mother wouldn't let me post, and it turns out she was probably smarter than me about that. Question: Was this about COVID? Yes. Well, this was about two years ago, so, yeah, so, yeah, sometimes, sometimes we learn, and, and this is a good, this is a good lesson for all of us, so anyways, uh, anything you want to pray about? No. Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for today and all you've given us. We thank you for those that you put in authority over us, and, and we pray that, that we honor you by honoring those that you put in charge. We praise you. And we pray that we are obedient servants. As we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. As always, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you have any prayer requests, please put them in the comments. And we will address them tomorrow. Also, this Saturday, free meal out at Old Port Variety. Between 11 and 3. Turkey dinner. Takeout only. COVID rules. I'm not saying that like COVID rules. No, I'm saying because we have COVID rules. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another moment of joy. Bye-bye. How are you doing? I clicked it like five times.